This is the Real Estate Guide to Success video series. I'm Vance Point Dexter. I'm here with Ronnie Adams. How you doing? And yes, uh, I'm uh, Ronnie Adams one more time. Okay. As, <laughs> as usual. As usual. You have to transform. No, I tried, but it didn't work. I All was right. Ronnie Adams again. Today, but, we're going to actually answer a, a uh, viewer question. Mm -hmm. We had an email from an individual named Christian. All right. And Christian wanted to know how you handle um, unexpected expenses in your in your investment property. And they do business. pop up. They do pop um, up. He mentioned things like property taxes, you know, permitted fees, fix up mm -hmm. costs, yeah. all those kind of things that drive um, new investors crazy. How, yeah. how do you handle those kind of things? Well, uh, whatever property that you want to purchase, then uh, outside of the fees, we're, we're going to say fees after you purchase the property. Okay. You know, whatever they are. Um, you're going to have to fix the property up. So you're going to have some permits that you have to deal with with the city, which generally they're 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 small fees. So who handles that? Do you do your contractors themselves handle that, or do you go down to? Uh, generally, I go down. Okay. You know, just to make sure that the contractor actually did it. You know, okay. sometimes you'll have a contractor and they'll be like, um, "I'll just do the work and not, not go get down the to, Yeah, not get the permit, so he gets to save. Uh, twenty-five, a hundred dollars, whatever it is. Uh, so I always get my permits myself. So when you first started doing that, how did you figure out how that worked? You just went down there and said, "I need, to, I want to apply for a permit." Yeah. For well, or, now remember that too that I have a degree in architecture, so I was in the construction business. Right, right, right. But for the average person, yeah, you just go right down to your city and say, "Okay, um, I'm going to be doing some electrical work on that on this particular house." Uh, what permits do I need? Okay. And the permit will be on how much your estimate is to be able to fix the house up. I so, see. you know. So it's a scale. It's, it's a scale. scale. It's a scale. All yeah. right. So you mentioned permits from the city. What mm -hmm. other expenses are you talking about? Uh, once you put someone in the house, something's going to break. So if you, before you purchase the house, you need to know that I'm purchase, purchasing this house in an area that's going to warrant the rent of fifteen hundred dollars a month. Um, I already know that my mortgage payment is going to be, you know, twelve hundred. You know, so I know I got three hundred left over. Whatever. Okay. Um, uh, if a hot water heater breaks, then um, now if I fix the house up and I knew that I put a new hot water heater in there, then I know I don't have to worry about right. that. If you put but, new appliances, exactly. New things, you know these you things. Have yeah, exactly. More profit, real, yes. real profit. Yes, yes. Okay. But now, if a hot water heater breaks, then I know it's going to, I need to know it's going to cost me maybe about $800 if I got a plumber to fix it. If I go and purchase it and do it myself, then it's going to be cheaper, of sure. course. So I need to also take in, you know, into consideration, if something breaks, how many months is it going to take me out? Just because you get $300 profit for that month, doesn't mean that that's real profit. You're, you're, so you're talking about break even point. Yes. How, how many Where months is, of rent do exactly. you need to make up the exactly. exactly. Okay. Exactly. You know, so uh, we need to know that if I own, and I always say, if you own one property or even up to five, if you can rent five and under, you can rent a hundred. Because the five, is the same. It's the, well, the process is the same, but it's harder for five and under because if something breaks, then I gotta pay for that one whole pocket. Okay. If I have 10 homes, if one of them, a hot water heater breaks, then remember that $300 a month times 10 right. is enough to pay so for that. It's a cash flow situation. It's a cash flow situation. Okay. Once my cash flow is right, then I don't have to worry. Those problems that were like, oh my goodness, you know, now they're small because I just write the check. And I have to have, as we have always said, my relationships yep. with my plumber. You know, who's not going to charge me $800 right. because I'm like, you know, I'm going, a lot of work, and right. you're giving them a lot of work and my plumber needs to know, look, I know you can go get the hot water heater for 300 So, you know, 200 for you is good to put it in, you know, so now I'm at five or whatever. So you just need to have people in your, on your team that is looking out for your best interest. So what you're also saying is. You need multiple properties in your portfolio to help you cover yes. some of the yes. costs. Some of those expenses that so, pop up. So, the, so having one of, actually one of anything is usually it's not just, a good yeah. thing. In business, <laughs> one of anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. that one goes away. Yeah. Then it's it. That's then over. Then it's you over. know, it, it, it's over. 
if you want to get into this, some people don't get in and say, okay, I have two homes and uh, it may, you know, it's according to how you look at it. I may have a kid, you know, that I'm like, okay, my child is two mm -hmm. and I'm looking for college. Okay, I'm going to purchase a home much like your parents did. Sure. Purchase a home when you're young. And by the time that it's time to go to college, I have enough equity in that. I'm not concerned about a hot water heater breaking because I'm looking long over the long haul. Yes. So now I can get a loan or, or sell that home to send my kid through college. That would that home worked. Sure. You know, one or two homes worked. But if you're thinking that this is going to be my sole income at some point, then one or two is not going to work. And I need to make sure that I have enough that will compensate for any mishaps that may happen and also pay my personal bills. Gotcha. So I need to have a number of properties, you know, and that's the way that you need to look at that. And I'm sure our viewers are tired of us saying, you know, about planning. Oh. And it, but, you know, it's the foundation of your business. Yes. You yes. have to know where you want to go before you know how, before you can figure out how to yeah. get there. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So what you're saying is if, you're, if your goal is to have an investment that pays for something in the future, mm -hmm. then maybe one is fine and you can build yeah. that equity over time. Yes. Yes. If you wanted to replace your income and change your job, mm -hmm. then you might need multiple things to help, exactly. to help you get there. Exactly. Exactly. You, 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 you have to know where you want to be. Right. You know, even if I tell my, my kids, I'm like, okay, you know, you go through high school, you go to college, you are going, of course, get a job. That's what you're looking at. Um, of course, my kids are like, oh, I don't want to have a job. I want to do what you do, Daddy. And I'm like, okay, you know, there's some headache <laughs> that comes along. That. You know, there's some headache that comes along with that too. But I say, look, you want to look at what is your end? How do I want to live? What kind of house do I want? Right. Well, how do I want to live? And what's that going to cost me? So I then, then I look at where the, you know, what I'm going to do to get there. Well, the real estate's the same thing. What do I want this to pay for? my basic lifestyle, well then I need to make sure that I'm making X amount of dollars to be able to do that. Right. And I have to compensate for a tenant not paying. And I have to yeah. contingent. Um I have to kick somebody out. Yeah. You know, so now that house is vacant for three months and I have to fix it back up. Yeah. You know, Excellent. so I have to look at that. And if you know, just regular stuff, a hot water heater break and blah, blah. This is after you purchase the house. Right. So where people are thinking, oh, it's, it's really easy. No, it's a real business. Really you is. have to you have to plan just like you plan for any other yes. business, anything else, you know. Because if you don't, you will get bit in the foot. I always tell people when you're building, when you're buying houses, you're building something. And one house, you're building another, you're building something else, you buy another, you're building something. But once you get to the number that I have, you realize you built this monster, right. <laughs> you know. And if you don't have it under a leash, it will turn around and bite you in the butt, you know. So you don't want that. Well, and I'm going to, to release a little unexpected information here. Oh. Um, we didn't plan to announce any of this, okay. but we are going to be releasing an ebook, a Getting Started oh, yeah. ebook, yes. very shortly. Um, in the not too distant future, yeah, yeah. and a major section of that ebook is going to be around planning your business and figuring yeah. out where you want to go, what you want to do, and how to yeah. get there. So there'll exactly. be a lot more information about how to get started you, in that. Yes, ebook. yes. You know, if I would have had someone in the beginning who could have sat down with me and told me the things that we're telling people out there then it would have made it so that I would have made so much more money in, the in a shorter period of time. In a yeah. shorter period of time and with a whole lot less headache. Sure. You know, so I did have somebody who was ahead of me that I called, but it was just that they didn't want to give up too much information. Right. But it would have made it a whole lot easier if someone would have just sat down and said, well, Ronnie, you need to do X, Y, and Z. Don't go that way because... I've been that way, right. and it's not good, right. you know, even though it looks good, you know, or even with one of our other videos, we were talking about a fire, the first fire, if I had someone who said, I already went through the fire, it doesn't make a difference, right. just call your adjuster, I got an adjuster here for you, just yeah. call the guy and tell him I told you to call, yeah. you know, that just makes it a whole lot easier, you know, so the information that we're given, especially on the ebook, 
you read it, you apply it to your situation, it's just going to make it a whole lot easier for you. All right, man. Great information as usual, and uh, we look forward to the next time. We'll be back again.